Welcome back to KDC KSS MWW! Or oh. KDC episode 24, KSS episode t episode 10, MWW episode 3 at... Uh, at finally at the end of Milky Way Wishes. Here we go, we're gonna do the final boss with Nova. We're gonna go inside that thing and make him stop fighting the sun and moon. So, uh, yeah, here goes. God, did you write that down? I did write that down. Oh, it was brilliant. I mean, yes, I did. I did. It was, it was right, right from my memory. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I believe it. Your memory's a lot better than mine. I'll give you that. I've got a perfect memory. Niskel. <laughs> did you write that down, too? Uh, did you forget my letters? Yes. <laughs> Fine, some friend you are. Huge. Oh, man. Whoever thought you'd find a shoot -em up section in a Kirby game? No kidding! So were those powers even needed? Well, uh, not really, but I guess it kind of strengthens the Kirby... See, you don't need all the powers, but you need them for 100%. Oh, okay. Okay. See, I thought there was a reason you needed them. I, I didn't know they were kind of semi-optional. Well, oh, make, make sure you get the good ones, then. What the so hell? So this is the no. This is the uh, Nova interior, the heart of Nova. Wow. We're, we're pretty much. We're, we're gonna halberd the shit out of Nova, pretty much. Oh my god, this is really cool looking. I was gonna start going backwards, and if I get if I get even sneezed on, I'm dead. And there we go. Uh, what lag? Yeah, they oh. got fucked up. I think it was intentional. I mean, that just shows how much pain Kirby was in when he got hit is when the lag set in. Well, you're lucky he hasn't ever played the DS version because he lets out this horrible scream and you can just feel the what? blood curdle in this... Oh, my God. Oh, no, not really, not really. Aw. He kind of got my hopes up. I was about to buy it based on that, but <laughs> won't anymore. Kirby Superstar Ultra. Rated T. <laughs> No! What the fuck would a T-rated Kirby game look like? I don't know. I was just thinking that. It's like, what does Kirby actually have to do? Like, like actually frown? Like, maybe if it was uh, a crossover with Bloodborne. <laughs> that, I, that I could see. <laughs> Kirby inhales certain enemies to gain their powers, but if he inhales other enemies, he takes damage. Oh, you man. Know, gains, gains beast blood, has a, you know... I don't know. Kirby's such a mount. Anyway, this is uh, Marks. He's bad. He's the oh. big final. He's the okay. final villain. Cause can't you tell? It's like a Kirby game with uh, the parallax scrolling star fields and all that, and mm -hmm. you're sliding across the ground. And there's a boss that likes to pop in and out of nowhere, and mm -hmm. always does this fucking move and all that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can tell it's the final boss. Mm -hmm. Right. Gonna make it easy. We're gonna make it easy work with him with plasma, or at least try to. Yeah. That's another thing. Kirby always has to have an enemy du jour. But I think it works better with this than, let's say, Sonic, that changes up his enemy every single game instead of sticking with what works. Now, Kirby doesn't actually have a real bad guy to stick with the series, save for Dedede, but Dedede's never the bad guy. I think he's, like, bad guy once. He's the... Ah, eh, sometimes he's a prick. <laughs> kind of character. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that. A little less like Bowser, but kind of more like, oh, come on, dude. You know you can't take all the food in the world. T -t -t come on. Come on. Come on. We got to go beat him with the bat, and that's the end. What? That's the end. That's the end of Milky Way Wishes. That's the end of Milky Way Wishes. I smack, I smack Marks so hard that he falls into Nova and explodes. And that makes the Sun and Moon stop fighting, so that's the end. Wait a minute! Thanks for watching. No! No, hold on. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go take a nap now. Good night, guys. Hold on. No, 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 there's gotta be more. Kirby's never leave on such a simple note. At least I don't think. Oh. He does look pretty peaceful sleeping there though. It's like, huh, I needed a break after all that bullshit. What? Yep, yeah. yep, that's it. No way! Uh huh. That's oh, it. come that, on! That that was Milky Way Wishes. That was Kirby Superstar. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, being be, being how this was uh, the Kirby game that really launched him into the perfect kind of uh, mascot character that he is, what did you think? 
Oh, I mean, it was cool. I wish... You know, I kind of wish it was like some other games where if you get 100%, then you get like a true ending with a bigger, badder boss. But yeah, this, this'll this do, sure. It was definitely hard enough. That five-star rating was warranted. Oh, yeah, but, uh, you know, I, I, feel, I feel pretty good about it. I mean, uh, we had a lot of really good adventures. We had a, had a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I love the little graphics they give for the credits. You know. Mm-hmm. I was noticing it's those, too. <laughs> oh, look, Chief Designer! Uh, yeah, I, I really think this was the start of what made Kirby so great, because a lot of the other Kirby games, the good ones at least, harken back to this. Oh, yeah, and, definitely. Uh, and for the next Kirby games to follow, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3 is uh, a little bit more like Kirby's Dream Land 2, but more visually spectacular and better gameplay-wise, but far more cryptic, and uh, it's it's my favorite, so we're going to go to play that one next. I'm going to have a lot of fun with that one. Okay. And then Kirby 64, I'm not going to have as much fun with, because while it's still pretty fun, it's uh, <laughs> really, really tedious to play sometimes. It's slow. It's the slowest Kirby game. Oh, yeah, like, you're even, dealing like, with a... Like, even when you run, you're still slow. <laughs> um... Come on. In a sense, yeah. It'll probably be like the Donkey Kong 64 of 64 games. No, it's not that bad. Oh, okay. Because DK64 is slow. Uh. Oh, but, uh, yeah. I like Kirby. Ever since we started this, I have liked Kirby. So I'm, I'm glad I could get you into Kirby, uh, you know, into him at least, because you, you played... You actually played a Kirby game since, so that, yeah. my work's done. Yeah, exactly. You played him, you like him, it's like, oh, well, that, that was quick. I thought yeah. I'd have to take the entire series to the convention. It's like, come on, can't you see how good it is? But It, it doesn't take you know, a lot. Kirby's so good, <laughs> Kirby's so good, you don't need much. It's like, oh, it is good. Okay, that's oh, all I need. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. <laughs> you know, if you if you want to bring me along for some other ones after Dream Collection, I'm, I'm all for it, dude. Well, all right. Hmm. Right. You can play more Kirby, I don't mind. Yeah, there's some console ones, right? There's more! Oh, there's more. What, you think that Kirby's just gonna end just like that? Well, of course not! Are you kidding me, man? But wait, there's more. There is more. So much more. It just takes a little while is, to get is there. Is there more? Alright, Kirby's Kirby. being a little bit of a tease here. He, he uh, says there's should... more, but... Uh, oh, oh, okay. oh, look at that! The arena. The arena. So now it's, t it's the final challenge. It's toughest battle yet. The pink wonder faces the strongest enemies. It is pretty much a boss rush. Oh, Th things are going to be familiar here. I mean, if you ever play triple triple deluxe. So first, start you off with a, an ability room. I'm going to, of course, go with plasma and go with plasma mm. again. Oh, okay. The buddy's just kind of like a sponge for me. Here's a little uh, look around so you can get everything that you want. Mm. Uh, I'm going to show you the perfect run, but this took me like seven tries. Where they're going to throw a whole bunch of bosses to you at random. The first one is the Halberd's Reactor, which means, well, so long, Plasma. <laughs> you're automatically just, you're just doomed. You're just dead. I mean, it was fun while it lasted. I'm, I'm glad you were here, but uh, yeah. Didn't even, yeah. But that's alright, I can take this on my own. This one's pretty easy, so it's a good one to start out with. Yeah. And I'm, th I'm thinking back to ye old YouTube again. I, I do this every now and again. But oh, yes. You, you remember the ROM hack Brutal Mario? Mm-hmm. I swear this is one of the bosses that was in there. It was, it was that and another boss that, from Kirby that was in Brutal Mario. My favorite Mario ROM hack is Falling Mario. Is it literally just him starting in the sky and then falling to his death, or...? It's a nonsensical, depressive, minor key-themed <laughs> ROM hack. What?! And at, and at the end, when you rescue... Well, here, uh, this is... This looks familiar. Yeah! Oh, I like that! Anyway, at the end of it, uh, Mario falls down and Peach is like, Ha ha, keep falling forever. Falling, Mario. Yeah. Oh, so he, he falls to his doom, is what you're saying. Yes. Maybe how love causes us to fall into an endless spiral of... Oh, uh, look at that. It's some new ground shit. It's 
a very, very common thought process in Japanese literature and mythology. Love will never be! Oh my gosh, love is dead! Or love is over, sorry, I completely forgot the game over from Catherine, even though I I met my, uh, met my demise <laughs> See? Many, there's, many there's times. See? Here's another example! Oh, the Catherine was great! It was hard as the, balls, though! The true ending is neither! <laughs> it is true. It is true. Oh! So, so essentially, we gotta go through all these bosses. I find that plasma is the easiest. Some people like to use hammer or fighter or maybe even wheel by using a glitch. But uh, I've, I've found in my multiple playthroughs that everything goes fine until I lose plasma. When I lose plasma, that's when everything just falls apart. I see. So the key is to hold on to plasma for as long as possible. Twin Woods is up next. <laughs> you know, I, th I think it would be kind of funny in this day and age to to do a playthrough of, like, not blind, but an actual good playthrough of Brutal Mario in this day and age. Just to show it off for people who may have missed it in the years and years and years it was being played by everybody in the universe. Don't know if I'd ever finish it. I don't know. There's there's an English patch for it, so at least you'd know what to do. And I think it'd be kind of interesting to to have somebody who, like, knows what they're doing and play through it. I don't know. Well, I don't know what I'm doing in Mario World, so... Mario World is so good. I feel like that I'd have to utilize a whole lot of spin jumps and shell kicks and task strategies and all that shit. I, I don't know. Brutal Mario is just like, is that one ROM hack that just used things from other games and it was really cool to see? It's nothing like Kaizo. It's not that hard. Hmm. Like, like Brutal Mario is winnable. It's just people who don't understand what it's about just constantly yell and go, What? Uh, I remember a lot of uh, Let's Players back in the day, before yeah. our time. Yeah, exactly. These days to play it all the time. Mm-hmm. That's why I think it'd be fun to go back and, like, not to, like, be that guy, but it's, like, one that actually, you know, did their research, went through the whole thing, and it's just like, well, this is how you do it. Cut out all the repeat fights and all that, you know, stuff like that. Oh, let's, uh... Let's play Super Mario Brothers 3, then. <laughs> a, little, a little blast from the past, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny. A few years back, somebody did some from the old Something Awful forums did a Let's Play of Mario World or uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, and he did some things I didn't even know existed, so there's still stuff for me to learn. The fucker beat me, beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh. You want to do it? You, do you no. know all the tricks? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, if I'm going to play a Mario game, it's going to be a Wrecking Crew. <laughs> <laughs> the one that everybody likes. Everybody loves that game. Uh, actually, you want to do 3D World on the Wii U? Because I love that game. To be honest, I like 3D Land better than 3D World. 3D Land is pretty great. I love 3D Land. I do too. It's like best Mario game in years. And then 3D World came out and it was pretty good. I think it's even my favorite. Really? 3D Land? Mm-hmm. Well, hot it's, damn, let's do that. Just, just the sense of freedom and like the uh, added depth of uh, of having the 3D slider, I guess. When you just run at full speed and just sail off with your uh, squirrel suit and just float off in the distance. It's just great. It's so good. I love it. Now that you're mentioning it and I'm, I'm getting all these memories back, it's like, ah, oh, I remember. So if you do it quick enough, you should take off the RPG boss. No problem. Just don't lose plasma. Don't do it. Yeah, can't lose plasma. Don't do really? it. Everything goes wrong when I lose plasma. Good blocks, good blocks. Now Dang. let's smog again. I am fire. I'll hurt you. <laughs> is that a fellow hobbit or is it Kirby trying to act intimidating? That's smog. <laughs> Come here. I'll get you. My teeth are like razors. I am deaf. He tries Aww. to burn down. Try, tries to burn down Dale and just. <laughs> 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 I 
Uh, nine, nine enemies, nine bosses left, I guess. Jesus, I didn't realize there were this many bosses in Kirby. 19 in a row. 19? 19, and we all gotta, we gotta use only five maximum tomatoes throughout the entire endeavor. Good lord! Because once that tomato's gone, that's it. So, this is interesting. This is the boss of the uh, Heart of Nova. Oh, yeah. My little helper is gone now. Like, they won't come back after this? Nah. And I think in Superstar Ultra, I think you lose your um, your ability, too. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, but you get to keep it here, right? You, you do keep it here, but uh, but I think it's a lot harder in Ultra. That's so mean, especially when you have a, a power that you like using all the time. Well, Superstar is even, uh, Superstar Ultra is even fucking meaner because there's a version of the arena after you beat the arena called the True Arena, oh which my... has four new bosses at the end. <laughs> what? Oh dear. And it's even harder. Oh dear. Like, well, what are those new bosses? Because that sounds kind of awesome. Three of them are uh, bosses from the new games that they added, and the last one is a new, 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 new boss. See, that's what—it's what I... uh, oh. Mark's advanced. Oh, okay. See, there are some games that you know, they have the. Uh, uh, what's a good example? Uh, Yoshi's Island on Game Boy Advance, the port where they updated it a bit. Mm. Like they still had the bits and pieces, like all the assets to make brand new levels exclusive to the GBA. And I kind of like that when games go basically back in time and add stuff that wasn't in the original so it's like it was there all the time but you just never found it or they never added it. Yeah, it's like here's this, we souped it up, made it prettier, and added more. Exactly, I love it when games do that. It's like uh, Link to the Past on GBA where they added a, a whole new dungeon if you had the like stupid ass card reader thing or whatever. Or Link's Awakening DX when they had the color dungeon. Yes! If you had Game Boy Color, it was great! And, uh... It, it's pretty interesting how uh, they barred access to the color dungeon. What, uh, wasn't it, uh... If you're playing the original Game Boy and you tried to go in, one guy said, okay, pick the red guy, and it was never the red guy or something like that? I don't know if it was never the red guy, but it's difficult to pick the red guy. And, uh... In that case, would be practically impossible to do the dungeon, too. Right, right. So, Wispy Woods is one of the penultimate bosses, which is kind of strange. Because <laughs> uh, the boss order is random, except for the last one. The last one is always Marks. Hmm, okay. And I can't believe that this is the penultimate one, the, the, probably the most difficult one. Waddle D. Really? 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 Waddle D. Br like, just a Waddle D. Ah. Uh, you just oh. about lost it to Waddle D. That's like losing to Glass Joe. Come on. Kill oh, the man, damn he's thing. Taking, he's taking so many hits. <laughs> throwing all the energy at him. He's a resilient little one. I'll give him that. <laughs> and I do believe that he shows up in Squeak Squad as a little bonus collector. Uh... Just, he kind of shows up in levels and he goes away real quick. Oh, like a little Easter egg or something like that? Yeah, and so Meta Knight thinks that he can get us, but again, we're going to do the sword exploit, throw that, and then we're going to do that. And... Kept Plasma. I nice. lost a play. I lost a playthrough because of that. I dropped Plasma, I accidentally got the sword instead because my buddy turned into a sword, and then it was a sword <laughs> fight against Meta Knight, and <laughs> then he <laughs> promptly <laughs> killed me. Oh, that sucks. Plasma oh, is the... Best way, and well, it keeps your thumb nimble too, so you can, uh, oh God, you know, keep yourself in the action, keep yourself on your toes. Well, that was close. I, you were losing a lot of health in that fight. Yeah. Well, luckily we had three maximum tomatoes to spare, so that's good. And so now we're we're all full up, and we're ready. We got plasma. We're taking on marks. I think we got this in the bag. Sure. I mean, he wasn't that hard to begin with. Yeah, but now I don't have all of the abilities to my disposal. True, but didn't you use plasma anyway to fight him? Yeah, so I guess no big deal. Right? <laughs> <laughs> See, not an issue. Uh, 
Uh, well, alright. Yeah, he's almost good. I'm just fuck. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. Alright, Oh, it's go. not going down like this. No way. Just imagine uh -huh. losing at the final boss of Boss Rush. Wouldn't that suck? What do you think that's happened before? Oh, imagine that. I was just thinking, what if he lost at Mark's? Beating the true arena in Superstar Ultra was a nightmare. Oof. How many how many nights did I go to bed angry because I couldn't beat it? <laughs> Aww. Oh, come on. He's got one more hit. One more hit. That's it. Bam. Yeah. Good job. That's the tr that's the arena beat, and uh, that's all Superstar has to offer. Like for real this time. But yeah. That, that yeah. That's it for real. Okay, for we, real. We beat, we beat the final challenge. We uh, defeated it with 8 minutes, 40 seconds, and 40 hundredths. That's pretty good. Now, look look at him benching that trophy. Man. Oh, yeah. Get buffed, and that, Kirby. And that is it. We unlock a sound test as a result. Oh, that's it? That's how you know it's 100% when you unlock the sound test. Sound sour effect. Oh, so, oh sound effect. Sound effect. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, oh, geez, I turned my volume up because I couldn't hear much, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> well, that's... That's really it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, just, uh, just to show you all that it really is 100%. Uh, reset the game. But actually, I have one more thing to show you before we go. Okay. We are in the Japanese version of uh, Kirby Superstar now. What? I, for I, I forgot, I didn't show uh, that we have 100%, but trust me, we have we have 100%. Believe me, we do. So, uh, here we are in the Japanese version, Kirby Super Deluxe. Oh. Let's uh, start a new file here. Well, kind of new. Head to the Great Cave Offensive. Well, just showing off it's all in Japanese, because he it's a Japanese version, you know. Hmm. Oh, we're going to get a few of the treasures? Nope, we're gonna get a glitch. Oh. Oh, good. I'm playing an emulated version just because uh, it's the best way to show off this glitch. It's difficult okay. to do- it's, it's difficult to do in any other version. I thought I could do it in the, uh, Dream Collection, but they must have patched it out in the American versions. That makes sense. Here's, here's a treasure, hey! It's a Kindaru. I'm so glad you can read this. <laughs> I, I mean, to the point where uh, I'll believe it. Sure. So go- so go to a ladder, hit up and down at the same time. It just freezes? It just freezes. Oh, you gotta be kidding, just going up and down at the same time, you said? Yeah, if you hit, like, up, down at the same time, not, not like, up and then down. Up and down, same input, same time. The game just freaks out, doesn't know what the hell to do. <laughs> well, you know what? I think that's a good enough note to end Kirby on. You finally found a glitch in a near-perfect game series. Woohoo! Even though there's probably plenty that I don't know of. Next time is KDL3. See you next time! <laughs>